Every relationship has deal breakers where an issue to one person in that relationship is so big that they can't get past it. And so they end the relationship. And this is certainly the case in long distance relationships, especially over the past 12 months or so, where we can't spend time together. They say not being with someone in person makes the heart grow fonder, which can be true, but when we're apart for extensive periods of time, we can see many other issues crop up that can and do lead to relationship deal breakers. I have a few that I'd like to mention here in this video that many guys have relayed to me during the COVID lockdown period. And if you have any relationship deal breakers that I don't cover here, then be sure to pop them in the comments below and be sure to buckle up and stay with me here. Just quickly, if you're dating a Filipina and are looking for peace of mind whether she's genuine or not, then why not check out my friends at Love Guardians who are experts on cybersecurity with a detective on the ground in the Philippines. Love Guardians will run many checks to give you a solid idea one way or the other. So be sure to check out my affiliate link in the pinned comment and description. So yes indeed, the first deal breaker I want to address here is frustration caused by the COVID lockdowns where many people are seemingly losing hope of being together. Simply for some people or couples, this has proven too much, or perhaps they were never really prepared for what is involved in such a long distance relationship. Many couples during COVID may have got together online because they had more time on their hands and maybe they were lonely and needed someone to chat with. Or perhaps some people can't see so far down the track to where they can be together and what this may be like. My belief is that if a couple really feel that they have a strong connection online, then they'll go through the tough times right now to create something special in the future. So possibly these guys or couples never really had that drive or vision in the first place. Now my second relationship deal breaker is not so much around these COVID times specifically, but certainly COVID stops us from being together right now. And that is the length of time that it may take one to visit the Filipina after you guys start your online relationship. Now, as I say, forget COVID for now, as this was a problem well before COVID came along. I've heard of some foreign guys being in an online relationship for up to five years, and still they never got on that plane to go to the Philippines to meet the Filipina in person. These guys were seemingly just stringing the Filipina along before she finally had a gut full and told him enough is enough. Or perhaps she was getting some money from him on a regular basis, which made her hang in there for so long. But here's the thing. If one truly wants a relationship that starts out online to turn into a proper dating relationship that has a real long-term future, then one really needs to be together in person as soon as possible. This undoubtedly strengthens any bond that you may already have that started online and cements a good foundation for the relationship moving forward. In my opinion, and what I've heard from many couples over the years, is that the longer it takes to be together, the less likely the couple will be honest with each other, and most likely they'll both be still looking elsewhere for someone who is willing to spend quality time together in person. Now in times such as we have here with COVID, what we need to be doing so this doesn't become a deal breaker is for the two of you to commit to a plan to be together as soon as possible after the borders reopen. Doing this is showing your Filipina that you're serious about the relationship and she'll have true hope and something to look forward to and as a result will most likely hang in there. But guys, seriously, if you're going to start a relationship with a Filipina online, then don't treat her as second best and an afterthought and show her some urgency and excitement around being together as soon as possible.
And just quickly, if you're enjoying this video, then be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for all future videos. Now the next deal breaker or deal breakers I'll mention, I may parcel up into one category here because they do fit together. And that is lack of trust, suspicion and paranoia. All these things are rather common in long distance relationships and the longer we're apart, the more these things can rear their ugly head, even in what one may call solid relationships. What can happen, especially when we've had much free time on our hands, we may want our partner's attention for the majority of the time. And when our partner says no, or they have other things to do, then our minds will wander and suspicion and paranoia can kick in, which of course leads to lack of trust in our partner. This of course is all rather unfair on our better half, but at the time we may not see it. I've seen this particularly from Filipinas who may have much time on their hands and they expect their partner to always be available to them despite him having a life to lead in his country. For some guys they may enjoy this attention, but for others it can be like they're being smothered and in the end Rather than the guy talking to the Filipina about the issue, he may just call it a deal breaker and walk away. The next relationship deal breaker with your Filipina that I often hear about is a lack of honesty and transparency. Now what one's idea of exactly what is a lack of these things really comes down to the individual as we all have different views on this. But essentially, it's when we start to get the feeling that our partner is not being open and honest with us. So there's no amount of honesty and transparency as such, but more a feeling that we get based on our interactions and observations of our partner over time. And this can certainly be a big reason many foreigner Filipina couples, and couples worldwide for that matter, break up. But when in a long distance relationship, honesty and transparency are even more vital or the mind will wander as we spoke about previously to the point our suspicions will be raised and as a result, we won't trust our partner. And you can be very sure that this works both ways here. If one or the other is not being open, honest and transparent, then the other person will see and feel this. And of course, when this happens, it will become a huge deal breaker and will walk away and look for a person who'll be more open, honest, and transparent. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.